In this video, we will look at finding compound interest when we have continuous compounds. What continuous interest means is we have an infinite number of compounds. In other words, the interest is being constantly paid into the account. When we see the phrase continuous interest, we'll use the formula A equals P to the RT power in order to calculate the final amount. A stands for the final amount in the account, and P stands for the principal, which is the fancy bank word for the starting amount. E, this new variable, is actually a constant, similar to recognizing pi as 3.14159. We can recognize E as the constant 2.718281828459045, and going on with no pattern or repetition. Fortunately, our calculators have an E button on them. You'll either see a button that says e to the x, or you might see a button that says ln with a small e to the x above it. If that is the case, you'll need to hit a shift or second key in order to select e to the x. r is still in equal to the rate, which must be written as a decimal. t is the time of the investment, which must be written in years. Let's take a look at some examples where we calculate continuous interest. In this problem, you see the key phrase compounded continuously. When we see that phrase, we think of the equation A equals PE to the RT. The investment of $25,000 is our principal or starting amount. 11.5% is our rate, written as 0.115. We want the balance after 20 years, and so that must be our time. This gives us A equals $25,000 times E to the R, which is 0.115, times T, which is 20. Again, you'll want to be careful how you put this in your calculator, making sure the exponent is all done in one step. Some calculators will open an exponent for you when you type the E. If we type this all in our calculator, being careful of the order, you should end up with $249,000. 354 and 56 cents. Let's take a look at another example where we calculate the amount in an account after a certain amount of time has passed. In this problem, again, we see that key phrase compounded continuously. This tells us to use the A equals PE to the RT equation. We want to know the balance at the end of 10 years. This will be our time. The investment of 13,000 will be our principal investment. 4% is our rate, written as a decimal, 0.04. Plugging this all into our equation, we get A equals P, or 13,000, E to the R, 0.04, times T, which is 10. Again, being careful with your calculator that the exponent is calculated together, Multiplying everything out, we end up with A, the final amount in this account, after 10 years, is $19,393.72. Whenever we see the key phrase compounded continuously, we'll know to use the formula A equals P E to the RT, being careful on the order with our calculator, to get our final balance in the account.